Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Pixelmon 5.0.1 um using the pixelmon launcher now this tutorial should work for any future versions using the launcher i don't see any reason why it would really change um so just follow all these steps hopefully this will work for you guys i'm going to try to make sure that i go over everything pretty clearly so that you guys don't have any questions or anything like that um if you do have a question though make sure to go ahead and let me know down in the comments and i will be sure to get back to you um let's get right into it so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to pixelmonmod.com um, which is the official Pixelmon website, head on over to downloads and click this first one. So it's Pixelmon Launcher for Windows Beta. Now, if you have Mac or any other operating system, you're not going to be able to use the launcher and you'll need to manually install Forge. Now, this tutorial isn't really for that. Um, so make sure if you're using Mac or any other operating system that you go ahead and find a tutorial for manually installing Forge. Um, but if you are using Windows, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 10, whatever version, I don't think it really matters. I think it should all work fine. Go ahead and click download right here um, and download Pixelmon Launcher right there. And it should go ahead and download into a zip file right here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, drag this zip file over onto my desktop. Go ahead and open it up. Uh, we got WinRAR there. <laughs> Um, and here we go. So this should work fine. Now you'll have the Pixelmon Launcher beta.exe. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and run it from the zip file, but I'm going to drag it to my desktop just to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, right click it and click run as administrator. You can probably just double click it and it'll work fine. Um, but I prefer to run things as administrator. Um, yes, go ahead, do that. And then you're going to want to choose where you want it to be installed. So I don't mind it installing right there. That's fine. So agree to the license and terms and conditions and go ahead, click install. And it should take a couple seconds here um, and it'll actually just pop up. So now you have officially installed the launcher. Really didn't take that long at all. Um, so now what you need to do here is go ahead, put in your Minecraft login information. So your email or pa and password, or if you still use your username to log in from a really long time ago, um, you'll use that. Whatever you use to log into your actual official Minecraft account is what you need to put here um, so let me just go ahead log into mine there we go and uh, here we go so it already loaded up and now the next step is to go ahead and create yourself a new profile so you're gonna click this little plus right here um, and new profile you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it after the version so that I know which version I'm actually choosing um, go into select what is a select Pixelmon and select whatever version you want. Now, if you were trying to do it on the latest version, you're going to want to go to Minecraft 1.10.2 and select Pixelmon 5.0.1 at the time of this recording. Now, there might be other versions out after this, um, but all you're going to need to do if there's other versions, newer versions, is just select those. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully, it doesn't update and change. I don't think it will. It's been like this for a while now, so everything should run smoothly. Select Pixelmon 5.0.1, whatever version you need. And then on Forge, it'll actually uh, go ahead and give you the correct version of Forge. So you just need to select that. They actually sort that out for you so you don't actually have to do anything. Um, and then go down here to Save and boom. Now it should pop up with Download Profile. But if it doesn't, then you can actually just go ahead and click right here. This button right here is the Download button. So just go ahead and select that and it'll start downloading. Now this should take probably a couple minutes. I don't know how long it's going to take for me. Um, it might be different for you. Uh, but let me go ahead and cut here and I'll be back once it's gone ahead and finished downloading. All right, guys. So now that you actually have Pixelmon installed, it's finished downloading, you're good to go. Go ahead and click on this settings button right here and make sure that your memory or your maximum memory right here is set to at least... 2024 so that's the minimum you want it if you have it lower than 2024 you probably won't even be able to start up minecraft it'll either crash or just be too laggy to even do anything so make sure you have it at least 2024 if you can spare more ram than that um try setting it to 3072 um you'll probably be fine at 2024 but if you have enough you might as well set it up to 3072 and see how that goes um but yeah either of those numbers will probably run pretty smoothly 
Um, so yeah, if you go ahead and close that out, the next thing you're going to want to actually do is head over to Optifine.net. Now, I highly recommend this, even if you have a really nice computer um, that runs Minecraft smoothly without any like Optifine or anything, I still recommend going over to Optifine um, and getting yourself this just to help out even more. It can't really hurt, so um, what you're going to want to do is head down to Minecraft 1.10.2 Optifine HD Ultra, and I've had some issues with D4, 3, and 2, so I highly recommend sticking with D1 right here so you're just going to want to click download um, wait for the ad fly to go ahead in countdown to five and then you should be good to go to download it it only takes a couple of seconds to download so just skip ad download optifine and then um you can go ahead and click keep and then what you're going to want to do is go ahead go back over to your pixelmon launcher click on this little folder button right here which that will actually take you to where you can click on the mods folder um, go ahead and drag optifine up into the mods folder you can go ahead and close that you can go ahead and close your browser you're not going to need that anymore and you're good to go so now all you have to do is actually start up your pixelmon and everything should be starting up fine now i know a lot of people actually have some freezing issues where it freezes at this screen right here um, but that's okay. If it freezes, like it's even freezing for me right now, um, just give it a second. It should catch up with itself and it should finish loading up. So you should be good to go. Um, now once you get into Minecraft, you pretty much just do whatever you want to do. If you want to play single player, single player will work fine. If you want to play multiplayer, you can go ahead, come over to multiplayer. And I highly recommend coming and checking out my server. So I have my own Pixelmon server currently running. Oh, well, it says Pixelmon 5.0.0, but we're actually on version 5.0.1, so I'll have to go ahead and get that updated. Um, we might be updating to future versions, so if you're watching this video way in the future, we might be on a different version completely. Um, but like I said earlier, this tutorial should work for just about any version. Um, so come check out my server. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more Pixelmon content. I am going to be doing a Let's Play on my uh server so hopefully you guys can come and join me for that i'll play with all you guys and uh yeah so once you get on you just turn off that master volume because those songs kind of kind of get annoying <laughs> anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time